So I'm trying something I've never tried before. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, seen videos on it. I know the benefits of it and uh, trying to experiment with that. And uh, so this year is going to be an experimentation on using something uh, brand new for me. I'm pretty excited about it. So what the heck am I talking about? Well, I got a tarp from Hoss Tools. I actually got it a couple of months ago, uh, but you know, it was winter time and just prob probably not the best time to put out a tarp. I'm not a, I am not don't know a lot about it, but I understand you need the heat, you need sun on it to, to bake the uh, seeds, to, uh, you know, to kill the weed seeds and kill the weeds and the weed seeds. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the tarp, Talk about what I know about it so far and what I've seen about it. Been down probably two or three weeks, and uh, and then I'll tell you what I've got planned for this plot. Up there is my container garden. I've got the black uh, landscape cloth down. I got all my containers up there. Some of them, uh, some of them are inside the uh, area, and some of them are not. But that's going to be the container garden. This is going to be more of a row crop type garden uh, under this tarp. So let's talk about it. Uh, this is a six mil tarp that Haas Tools has. It's a silage tarp. Uh, people use it for a lot of different things. Uh, they'll cover their, uh, well, if they cut silage and, and, and are storing it, they'll cover it with that to keep the, um, keep the rain and stuff off. Uh, pretty doggone thick. Uh, they send a bunch of sandbags with it. Uh, I don't have sand. Uh, if I made sandbags, it would be clay bags. <laughs> I didn't really think I wanted to make some clay bags. Do I like the tarp? I really do. Uh, but boy, you better, you better, you better make sure you're holding it down. We've had a lot of wind and uh, got enough wind today. It might be messing up my, my audio on this. You can see how the how it's blowing it up like that. Uh, so anyway, I, I went down there. I didn't fill up the sandbags. Uh, I, I used stones. Uh, I've had a pallet of stones that I used from a different project. So, that's what we're that's what we're using on this to hold it down. It's doing a good job. I could I could probably have used twice as many of the stones and just didn't have them or just didn't want to bring them up here because stones are kind of heavy. Now, this is a we're trying to make a lazy man's garden, right? Uh, but again, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here uh, after I show you the tarp. Now the problem I'm having with it is uh, I'm really getting fire ants under it. So I've got to come under here and uh, or or wait till after a rain. We got a rain coming the next three or four days, hard rain, and I'll I'll spread some uh, some of that Advion, and that that should get the fire ants. I really have never had a problem with Advion not taking care of the fire ants. But what this does is kill the weed seeds. It kills any active weeds. Now I came in here and till this. Uh, you can see I even came past where the the tarp is going to uh, cover. Now I may plant. I'm thinking about planting. Uh, uh, several rows of um, pollinators here, probably uh, sunflowers. Uh, believe I'm gonna, I believe I'm gonna plant uh, several uh, rows of sunflowers here. Got a bunch of sunflower seeds from Haas. But the tarp kills the weeds, kills the weed seeds. If they germinate, they can't grow because there's no light and it's just smothered out. I also from Haas got what's called a lazy man's garden. I'm not all that lazy, but you know, uh, uh, Daddy Haas wanted to send me one and want me to try it out. And so it's 15 by 30. Now this this tarp is 40 by 30. They make a 40 by 50, I think. Uh, so this is 30 by 40. So it's 30 feet this way and 40 feet this way. Uh, I, I, what I'm planning on doing is taking that uh, Lazy Man Garden, which is 15 by 30, and I'll roll this back 15 feet. Should be right in, right in there somewhere. Roll it back about 15 feet and then, um, leave this for a little while, while longer. And then I'm gonna come in here and, and put the lazy man garden right here. Well, now, what is the lazy man garden? Well, it's a, it's basically landscape cloth, uh, 15 by 30 piece of landscape cloth. And it's already pre-cut with uh, spaced out holes or slits, I believe it is more, more so than holes to, for you to plant in. And with it comes all the piping, all the drip irrigation piping you need for um, for each hole, for each place. All the emitters, um, I don't remember whether it's emitters or, um, or whether it's drip line, I believe it's emitters, but it's everything you need for a 15 by 30 garden 
that is pretty much going to be weed free. That's why they call it the lazy man's garden. I'm excited to try it out. What I'm, what I'm going to plant there, and then I think I'll tell you about what I'm going to plant here later when I, this part of the tar top comes off. What I'm going to plant there is watermelons. I'm going to plant a watermelon patch, a uh, 15 by 30 watermelon patch that should be weed free. That's a problem about watermelons. When they're young, you can go in there and cultivate them, cultivate them between the plants, and and try to take out the weeds and stuff. But once they get uh, get a little size on them, get a little old on them. Uh, and they start running, you can't weed a watermelon patch. So my hope is that the weedless uh, properties of the uh, Lazy Garden is going to make a weedless uh, watermelon patch. So I'm excited about that. Now, I, I got some two different kinds of seedless watermelons from Haas. Uh, one is a tailgate. One of them is, I can't remember, but uh, two different kinds plus a pollinator. They have to have a pollinator. So I've got a bunch of pollinator watermelons, which would just be a seeded watermelon that they have to have, like three, three seeded water, three seedless watermelons to a to one seeded seeded watermelon for a pollinator. So I'm gonna have I've got a lot more seeded uh, watermelons than I do seedless. So I'm gonna have plenty of pollination. I want to bring the you know bring the sunflowers or some other type of of, of plants in here uh, where it's tilled. I'll bring them in here for uh, and keep it and keep it clean with the house uh, wheel hose and stuff. Uh, keep that clean for pollinators and maybe I can get a good you know good pollination on on all these uh, seedless watermelons. I love seedless watermelons. I love watermelon. I just I hate dealing with seeds, so I don't eat a lot of watermelon, even though I really really like the taste of watermelon. Now, on this part of it, I haven't decided. We've got so many peas in the refrigerator that my wife or in the freezer that my wife hadn't cooked up yet. So I really come in, hate to come in here and plant peas because we've just already got so many and we're just, uh, we're not eating like I thought we should or think we should. And I have got a ton of corn in the refrigerator. So uh, I don't know that I'm gonna grow corn and peas and corn are about the only row crops I do grow. Trying my best to get away from chemicals and this is just one way to do it is with a good silage tarp. And again, Haas is a sponsor of my channel. They provided the tarp and uh, they've got some, uh, uh, several different sizes, uh, three different sizes, I think, of tarps, and any one of them will uh, f fit your needs. Don't want this to be a commercial necessary, just showing what you I'm doing and tell you what's going on right here. This is going to be the lazy man's garden. Again, the, tying it down is a big thing because when that wind blows, it does, unless you're two or three feet apart on your bags or whatever you've got holding it down, it's going to get up under it and it's going to, it's going to raise it up. It's not going to blow it off. Now I've had to straighten this up a little bit, pull this back a little bit, but by and large, especially if you can get some water on it, if it rains on it or you can spray it, that water will help hold it down too. I found that uh, to be uh, probably one of the better things to hold it down is just uh, spraying some water on it. Once you get the sides, uh, the perimeter staked out, then put you some water on it and spray it down. And I think the, uh, I think that'll help hold it down a lot. It has for me. So I've just been doing it with rain. I hadn't sprayed it down yet, but that is an option that I will do if we, uh, if the rain stops and the winds start back up. So lazy man garden, row crop garden. Up here, we got the raised bed and the um, container gardens. Lots of earth boxes, lots of wicking tubs. And that's what we got going. Uh, Y'all see the plants in the under the grow lights. They are looking good. I was late. I thought starting mine, but boy, they have really sprung up. They're they're ready to go on the ground. It's just that we got some, we got some cold weather coming next week or uh, in a few days, and I can't put them in the ground right now. Or I can't put them in the containers right now. Hope you're doing something, man. I do. I do. Get something in the ground. Or get ready to get something in the ground, cause spring is fixing to sprung. All right. All right. I think we're gone.